You have been saying this for months. People need money, not businesses. That was going to happen at least 600 bucks. Are you surprised that the president is looking to blow this up? I mean, him saying, no, I want it to be 2000. You can't just scratch out the 600 and, 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 and fill in a bigger number. It doesn't work that way. Yeah, it's sort of several hundred billion dollars uh, too late. Uh, so, look, it's no accident. Today is sort of typical of our response to the pandemic in general, and that is we're not taking care of people. We have a third of renters are worried about being evicted. One in six households with children are food insecure. But the markets are up. It feels as if if our national character is revealed and what's happened with this stimulus, we've decided that Americans going hungry, Americans potentially having the the despair of not knowing they're going to have a roof over the head is bad. But what would be tragic is if the Nasdaq goes down. So quite frankly, I think that the uh, our government officials have decided that it's more important to prevent a tragedy of corporations as opposed to a tragedy of the commons. If you look at the money that's going to small business, and I know you and I have differing viewpoints on this, and the money going to airlines, there's more money going to corporations than there are to individuals. Capitalism needs to rest on a base of empathy. We need to protect people not corporations. The Nasdaq going up is cold comfort for what is taking place out there, Stephanie. Well, those CEOs know President Trump's phone number. People who've lost their houses, who've gotten their phones cut off, it's not easy for them to call him. Help us understand, put into context, how much damage is done to our economy each day without relief to struggling Americans, right? I said it before, the market could be like, oh, wait a day, he's gonna sign it, it's just a show. What does that show do today? delaying one more day from people getting help? Well, this, if you look at what's required here, we need a couple things. One, we need to, we need to increase demand. The, the best way to come out of this economy or repair it, if you will, is to increase demand. And the people who will spend the money they get, if you give $10,000 to a small business owner, you'd like to think it ends up in the hands of their employees and that the business stays open. And there'll be some very well publicized examples of that. But the best way to stimulate that multiplier, the velocity effect, is to take the bottom quartile of households, approximately 30 million. If you took that 320 billion extension in PPP loans and divided it up amongst the neediest households, you're talking about $10,000 in the hands of the neediest households. You probably immediately address some of the homeless threats, some of the food insecurity threats. And the thing is about low income and middle, lower middle income uh, consumers and households, when they get 10,000 bucks, they, they spend it. In addition, probably the best thing for these companies moving forward to ensure that we're building bridges, not peers, or businesses that aren't going to be sustainable in this new economy is to let people decide, consumers decide, which restaurants, which businesses stay in business. But every day, we are creating more and more of a society where 3 million, 3 million serfs. I worry that this money is not only solving or not only preventing, not preventing a tragedy of the commons, but it's not helping our economy. We have too many deaths of despair. We have people who need more money. We need to protect people, not corporations. This is this is exactly what capitalism is not supposed to be. Capitalism is supposed to be full body contact violence and that friction and that competition at a corporate level creates prosperity so that we can be more empathetic with people. We've decided in this economy, Stephanie, that we need to be harsh and Darwinistic on individuals and be loving and empathetic with corporations. Corporations are an abstract. Let them go out of business. Take that money and protect Americans, not companies. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.